I'm going to attempt to revoke the privilege as France. Normally I only do this with Austria, but I had a viewer recommend trying it as France. They actually do have a unique branching path for it. Only a few away from 20,000 subs. So if you do enjoy this, please consider subscribing and also leaving a like would be appreciated. With that said, let's get into it. So I reeled my game until I got Burgundy friendly. I want to try to get the inheritance. I'm not sure I want to befriend or war with Castile for this strategy. The idea here is that I can add a lot of nations to the HRE. I'm still unsure what the strategy will be exactly. I'm going to go with the befriend Provence route, which is something I don't normally do. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But I think it could be good. I'm just really not sure. So I'll just roll Mary with Provence and probably curry favors with them. Probably a good idea. But I still need to prepare to fight England. I'm very undecided on if I should ally or rival Castile. I'm going to try to vassalize Navarra. It's a mountain, so it could be pretty strong. I'll also ally to Scotland. I want to try to land my troops on England before the war, if possible. Though I didn't grab advisors or states yet. Let's do that before we blow the month tick. So I'm just going to do my estates real quick. I'm not going to do any mana privileges because I have to get 50 crown land for a mission later. So here are my estates. We'll go ahead and seize land. Royal marriage with Navarra. I need to improve with Navarra. I'm going to go ahead and get military access from Scotland as well. A royal marriage with my subjects. I want to start sending my troops up to Scotland. Ideally, I'd get there before the war triggers. I'll send Navarra a gift. We'll come guarantee. Just whatever I can to make him happy. I'm going to grab advisors. Should have done this at the first month of the game, but oh well. Get this half off. Ab advisor. Grab the half off. Diplo advisor. And then just any mill advisor will do. I'll just move my troops in position for the war. I'm just waiting for the surrender remains. Go ahead and vassalize Navarra here. We'll scornfully insult England to make Burgundy happy. He usually needs quite the relations to be happy though. Send Burgundy 150 ducats. Hopefully he'll like me soon. Meanwhile, I'm just waiting for the English event to happen. There we go. Burgundy's friendly, so I'll offer alliance. And we'll go ahead and roll a Mary. I'm going to start improving with electors. So I need to curry favors with Burgundy. Well, that's an alt of four. They surrendered mains. Just my luck. So there's the surrender of mains. Round two. I'm going to go ahead and tend to teach them how to war. I'm already in position up here, though, so it should be pretty easy. We want Jean to win some battles, too. Burgundy should take care of the war down here, in theory. I do want to merc up straight away, though. Got this mission done here. I just want Jean to win some battles here, and that should be good. I could grab the free company, but probably I'll just do the grand company to play it safe. Though I think the free company might be sufficient. They're fighting me here though. Oh, of course I let my ships die. Classic. Not surprised I would do that. Just a little disappointed. Should be a fairly easy war. Especially with the grand company. That's probably a bit overkill, but better safe than sorry. Well, Scotland's got London. So I'm going to have to abandon Scotland here because he's trying to steal London. I'm not going to let that happen. He's going to pay the price for what he did. And he also stole York, this animal. I may have just five speeded the, the war away. <laughs> Alright, well, that calls for the free company. Just merc up when things go bad with five speed, it's fine. England's pulling out the power play. It's got the pretenders. I respect that. But yeah, we'll have to kill those guys. Five speed can be dangerous though. Sometimes you get committed to battles you didn't want to, but you know, it's the price we pay. I grab my cannons now. Might as well. They should be safe over here. There's no one else to really kill them. Love that we get cannons as France. Super balanced. I'm going to grab this retake Gascony mission. Just makes taking the provinces cheaper in the war. Going to have to rebuild some ships because I foolishly let them die. I don't really even have that many places I can build ships. A little inconvenient. I'm going to give occupancy over to Burgundy just to see if he would take London. He does not want it. Okay. I had to know. Seems like he just wants these provinces here, which I'm happy to give him. I'm going to end the war with England. I'm going to be taking all the mainland provinces. I'm going to give Burgundy a couple of provinces over here as well and then take war reps. I get favors for giving Burgundy lands since I didn't promise him land. That's the idea. Because so I need 75 trust with him in order to complete an event. That will move us towards a bit. We'll trade favors for trust and that'll put us up to 65. So we just need 20 more. We just need to curry a bit longer and then we can finish that mission. So we got this mission here, Liberate Normandy. So we're just kind of working through befriending Provence as well. In Provence, we need a really high trust as well to get that. So we need, let's see, trust at least 90. Okay, so we're working towards that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these mercs that I had to hire. Didn't fight that war the best, but it's not a huge problem. So I need more favors with Provence and Burgundy. Suppose I can ally to Bohemia. Definitely not going to go for an extra subject. Need to seize land. I'm just trying to move some troops in position. Unfortunately, my transports got killed. It's extremely painful to transport my army with three transports. But we'll get there someday. I did build more. They're actually done now. So let's get those over there. So I'm just taking my armies home. I don't need the Scotland alliance anymore. Burgundy will do the same thing. So we can dissolve that and then cancel my access. I feel like if I want to get elected, I probably have to ally multiple electors. Which feels really awkward. 
Trying to decide which electors I would want. It might be better to have some that will roll Mary. Maybe we'll do the Platinate. I'm just trying to think of three electors that would vote for me that I can roll Mary, because roll Mary probably just the extra relations might help. If they're not in the HRE, they really don't like to vote for you that way. What? I had one vote. Wow. That is some insane RNG. I don't even know what to say. I was trying to improve relations with other people to get there, but apparently one vote's all you need. You guys watching will never get that lucky. I'm sorry to tell you. You should easily be able to be elected with just one vote. It's proven. I just did it right there. First try. Um, no Alta 4 needed. I almost won Alta 4 because it was so lucky. But at the same time, I have to play it out because that's so lucky. I didn't plan to be the Emperor this soon. Austria's not even a Hasburg anymore. That's wild. Now that I've gotten insanely lucky, I might as well dream for the even more insane luck. I want to be the Papal Controller as well. The greed. Uh, my manpower is insane though. I've that, I've never been HRE France before. Just for the numbers here, 84 force limit and 115k manpower max. Pretty wild. My idea now would be I can attack and add a lot of different nations to the HRE. Like I could go down here and add like Catalonia and Valencia, things like that. So that's probably what I'll try to do, maybe. We're just going to hang out for a bit. We're going to want to pass our reform as soon as possible. I'm not going to join the HRE until I can do that. Although Brittany does have to die. I do have claims. I could take out Brittany right now. I suppose I could turn off my maintenance for a bit. I make a lot of money. I'm not sure why I make so much money. Maybe the HRE. Okay, we have enough favors for that mission, though. So we should be able to just trade favors for trust. Trade favors for... There we go. Trade favors for trust. i will grab this mission here. The Brittany in succession. I'm not sure exactly what this does, but it says they'll be more likely to decide with us once the begonian inheritance imperial instant begins so i'm sure there's an actual percentage chance or something like that but i don't know exactly what that means let me know in the comments if you guys know <laughs> what that exactly means i'm going to grant the mana privileges because i'm already an empire so i don't really see why crown would be that big of a factor anymore i'm not sure if this is the right call but it seems reasonable Brittany, oh no Brittany has inherited burgundy yes yeah, so we had alta for that the higher chance really didn't it wasn't that much higher, let's just say. I want to start annexing this guy as soon as possible. So, it's a few months here. Go ahead and start annexing Orleans. Should probably grab the integration policy. So my diplorep isn't destroyed. Why are the Ottomans selling land to Serbia? Okay, whatever. I mean, sure. I'm going to see if I can grab the institution from anybody. So Sienna will give me the institution. I'll ask for him. I'll grab compromise with mobility for our tier 2. And we can get Abin 5. I'll be going for diplomatic. So I'm just waiting for the authority to pass our first reform. Should be just a few more months. I'm going to take a loan here. I want to upgrade two centers of trade to level two. Just for my age ability. One thing done for the age. Hey, I accidentally got radical reforms. This is how I normally get radical reforms. I don't intentionally ever do this. It just it just happens that way. Sure, I'll, I'll fire these guys and then grab it. I'll go ahead and hire back those advisors. Probably just going to start improving with Italy. Because that's going to have to be done eventually. Reigning in Italy will probably be our next play. Provence snuck in the HRE and ruined my authority. He wasted my authority. I hate him. I can't believe he's done this. Now I'm going to need to waste some authority here, I guess. I'll Imperial Grace some people in Italy. I don't want to waste the authority, so it's better to use it for something. So I'm going to pass my first reform. Looks good to me. And now I'm going to join the HRE. And this gave me 48 authority growth, so almost enough to pass reform by itself. But I'll need to wait a few months, of course. Mill 5 looks good. Some innovativeness. So I just need to wait... Four months or so, and then we should be good to pass our second reform. I'm gonna actually just cancel my annexation here because I don't really see a point of doing that anymore. So I'm just waiting a few months to pass the second reform. I probably just want to improve with neighboring at the moment. So improve with neighboring. It shouldn't be long before I can pass this reform. You got the Milan succession. I'm just gonna hit the bottom option. I don't want to do that. What? Did that just happen twice and I got 10 prestige? I don't know what just happened. I'll take it, I guess. It's not that big of a deal. It's just weird. I guess I got that twice because I'm France and the Emperor, which is very weird. I've never seen that interaction. Anyhow, I'm going to grab my second reform. And that gives you extra Diplo Rep. I'm going to grab the Diplo Rep here from the church. So I'm going to declare Imperial Ban on Denmark. I want to take his province. I mean, I want to return his province to the HRE. I was sending my guys over to Denmark, but I'm going to send them over to Brittany instead. I'm just going to diplomatically invite him to the HRE here. I do want to build some heavies for the future, though. Can't afford a ton of them right now, but we'll get three going. I'm just going to use any extra money I have at the moment to just build heavies. I need to actually fight Denmark at some point, because it's rightful HRE land. Castile has announced me as a rival. That's fine. I was going to kill him anyways. Now it's just justified. I don't mind that at all. So I'm just going to continue to improve with the nations in Italy. So I'm just going to go ahead and fully annex Brittany. 
I'm going to release him ultimately after my War with Denmark, so I get more authority. It's not going to end the War with Denmark. I'm just going to take the one province. We'll check two annual treaties to see. He doesn't really have any good allies, so let's just take money. Actually, scratch that. We want a short truce. Let's just take the province and nothing else and end the war. So I'm going to core the province here, and I want to start getting spy network on Denmark so I can get claims. That's kind of the whole point of doing all that. But I will go ahead and release Brittany now. I should get some authority from this. There we go. I got six authority when he joined the HRE. Sees land here. That's good. So we're just going to get a claim up here. We will need to start building boats, though, to make that happen. I'm just going to go ahead and establish communities. People were a little upset. Well, more privileges as well. We just want to smooth things over a bit. It wasn't even that aggressive, guys. Chill. Here comes the Shadow Kingdom. We're, of course, going to select We Must Reign in the Italians. So I kind of can't go to war until I do the Reign in Italy thing. Because I don't want to waste the authority. I meant to concentrate dev from Brittany before I released him. That's unfortunate that I forgot that. I guess I'll just have to dev my capital up. I should have been able to get at least five free dev there, but, you know, I didn't do that. So I guess I'll just dev for it instead. It's super expensive for me to embrace the institution. I probably don't want to right now. So I got to reign in Italy now. I might try the alliance approach. So I think it's just going to be a matter of having to ally to all the electors. Or not the electors, but the nations in Italy. We'll just see if this will work. Sometimes this works. This can be a painful experience, though, because everyone's rivaled to everyone, but well, so far it's seemingly not bad. I'm going to send Luca a little bit of a gift. I don't want to roll Mary Luca, but I might have to. I suppose we'll just take the hit and roll Mary. That's fine. I didn't want to, but the game wanted me to. Okay, wait, don't hold on there, Florence. Hold, hold the phone. As long as you don't break that alliance before. <laughs> All good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and reign in Italy. I don't really want the Teutons to die fully. We'll see how that pans out. So we need to get rid of all these alliances now that Italy's all reigned in. The Pope should want to join the HRE as well. Unfortunately, I think the Pope event might have really bad timing here. I'm not sure, though. Just kidding, guys. My leader died, and so I got the authority I needed right now. And this run is staged. Oh, the Teutons want to join the HRE. That's fine, as so long as you end that war first. Nice event here, giving me some diplo rep. Just in time, really. Definitely not staged, guys. I really need to pass this reform before that event triggers or we're going to be in trouble. But as soon as this finishes coring, I think we should be chilling. They don't like if you're overextended. Close here, but I don't know if I can get there in time. Let's see, how long do we have until this triggers? I think about five more months. So I'm not sure if I'll be there in time, but we certainly are trying. I mean, there's probably some people like on the fence I might be able to get to uh, vote for me. Let's, let's just try improving with a few people. Yeah, there's a lot of people just like on the fence. I'm just trying to find the people that are closest to improve with. We did get this in time. We're going to pass our third reform. And ju that, ju that triggered just before this hit. So that's very fortunate. Although it does create a problem because he needs he didn't end the war. So there's going to probably be like Imperial land that, that's owned by this guy now. But there's a little bit of a problem. If he ended the war like right now, that would be the dream. I'm just going to force out this war right now. And I'll go ahead and just declare expand empire on Danzig. I will have to fight against Poland, but that's okay. I probably should get a real army though. I've kind of just been going with whatever I had. I'm going to go ahead and take some loans for the institution. Mostly because I want a golden age sooner than later. And that will help with that. So hopefully I'm able to expand empire here. That would be pretty big. Best of both worlds. I want the Pope to join the HRE, but he hasn't yet. Here's the event I was looking for. We'll go ahead and let the Pope join the HRE. Get some authority that way. Sure, Provence. I'll give you the institution. I have six here. Get some innovativeness. So the idea here is I just need to get Poland out of the war fast. And then I can proceed to... Annex the other guy. So I'm going to trade favors for trust. I should have that mission done, right? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. So now we have Provence as the PU. It doesn't change our diplo slots because we were already allied to him, so that's fine. And I can probably have the Papal States return this province to him as well, and then potentially reconquest on Naples. I'm going to issue embargo on the Ottomans to help with my power projection. So I'm going to dev this province here a few times, but I don't want to use my diplo points unless I have to. So far, we just use admin mostly. My mission's done there. Both of these seem mediocre at best. I guess we'll take the top option. Then this one wants me to have improved Arvor four times. So we'll get working on that. I'm also going to build a flagship that can help privateer. I want to privateer the Ottomans so I can get some power projection. I'm not planning to take anything from Poland in this war. I just want him to peace out. So as soon as he's willing to peace out, we can do that. Actually, he has one HRE province. So I'll make him return that. So the Pope joined the HRE. We got some authority that is super helpful. Trying to save my military points in Navarage for a sec, because mil 6 is pretty huge. Grab mil 6 here. I'm just going to go ahead and disinherit this 300. He is not the way. I'm going to work on this mission here. I need to improve this province a few times. 
So that's done. They're very good. Half off advisor is not bad. Okay. So I have the Crown of France done, and it gave me some permanent power projection. But to do Face the Empire, it looks like we need to. Well, for one, I need to have the inheritance. So I gotta wait for that. But for two, I also need to have 80 power projection. So I'm gonna try to work towards that. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to have many rivals. I was only allowed to have the Ottomans. I'll go ahead and have Poland return this to the HRE, which is the Teutons land. And then we just need to finish up the war with Danzig. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand Empire on Danzig. What just happened? Wait, what? What? What kind of nonsense is that? I expand Empire and then they freaking... They, they pull that on me, really? I went back to try to fix that scenario. I don't really know what to do about that, though. Maybe if I make him break with Poland, but if I make him break with Poland, I can't expand Empire. <laughs> this is so cursed. What the hell, man? It costs a negative war score to give him his provinces back and doesn't affect the Imperial growth. This makes no sense. I can annex him and expand Empire at the same time. I don't even really want the province, but I don't want Poland to get it. So maybe I need to do that. So I'm just going to end this war here. I decided I'm just going to have him return the HRE land and some money war reps. I don't want to mess with the whole vassal situation. Unfortunately, I don't get any authority that way, but I'll just have to get authority from Livonian Order instead. So we'll just declare on him. I'm going to send my ships out to Privateer. We're going to be privateering in the Ottomans land for some power projection. I'll send the Barrage Assault here. There's no garrison. I'm going to demand unlawful territory here. Just get that guy back alive. I'm going to go ahead and expand Empire on Livonian Order now. So he's now a member of the HRE. I'm going to go ahead and Golden Age here. I'm always a fan of the early Golden Age. I'm going to ask the Papal States to return a province to Provence. I'm going to work on boosting my stab to three for an event. Feels like kind of a waste of points, but it gives you this mission here, which gives you an extra diplomat and extra diplo rep for 25 years. So it seems pretty useful. That's going to help with passing reforms as well. Let's get a mission done here, which gives us a 75% off advisor. We have an awkward scenario here where the third option says... I have to rival France, which I tried, and I, they won't let me. Or I have to have military strength, at least 200% of France. I tried to disband my entire army to see if this would work. It does not, just so you know. I'm just going to go with the Justified Wars for the first age ability. We'll go expand World Corps for Tier 3. Go ahead and pass my fourth reform now. 1470, not too bad. Better than I expected, honestly. But we'll just have to continue to see how it goes. 346 Air, not bad. Kind of want to name him something cursed, like Fons Hasberg. Sure. Vaz Hasberg de Velos. Ah, did I spell it wrong? No, it's over. I spelled it wrong. We're just going to continue to improve with neighboring. So it looks like Venice got destroyed, but that means I can add him to the HRE. So I'm just going to go ahead and diplomatically invite Venice to the HRE here. I might as well expand Empire on Achillea. Manchua took so much land. Good for him. Way to go, man. He also took Imperial land back, which is awesome. Normally that never happens. I'm killing all my ships right now. I don't know if that's the way, but you know, apparently it's my way. I'm going to all line my ships and repair them, I suppose. Got extra diplomat rep here. I almost have my prompt horse for cost, so that'd be good. They give me some free authority here. I like it. I'm going to demand unlawful territory on Berg here. I'm going to expand Empire on Achillea. And I'm sure I pronounced that right. There's actually like an almost a 0% chance. Go ahead and expand Empire on Venice. A little bit of authority. Nothing major. So I just noticed Castile is only tech 4. That looks like a very easy war. So I'm just going to declare war, call in my allies. I have seven here. I'm going to go Influence as my second idea group. You guys are going to probably ask how I was able to pick two Diplo ideas. It's just an option you can do before the game. It's Iron Man compatible. I'm going to grab my Province Force Core cost here. It's going to be helpful. I'm just going to have Austria and Newell with Castile, and then Money and War Reps. So I'm going to get Tech 7 Military, and I'm going to get some cannons. Or some more cannons. I guess I already had cannons. I'll have Portugal and Newell with Spain and England, or rather Castile and England. And then I'll just go ahead and get War Reps and Money. I this pulse vent again here for more authority, which is pretty lucky. Definitely a staged run. I'm gonna go ahead and end the war with Castile. I'm gonna be taking this land here. This is all releasable land. So I'm not gonna keep any of the provinces for myself. And look at this cursed name placement. What the hell? Like I'm in his borders. That's clearly some sort of violation. So I'm gonna go ahead and release Granada. I'm gonna release Asterius. I'm gonna release Leon and then Galicia. And I just got a bunch of authority as these guys join the HRE immediately. Granada can't join the HRE at the moment. He's also not the right religion, though I'm going to have to have a chat with him about where he goes to church, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. I didn't want it to have to be like this. It's okay. I'll help you convert. It'll feel better. I have a decision to make whether I want to go to war now or wait to pass the reform. Just depends on if I think I can win the war in time. We'll just wait just to play it safe. I'm going to go ahead and build some more units. I have an immense force limit. I can also do transfer subject at half cost, that's fine. 
And I'm monstrously over my relation limit, I'm sure. 15 of 9. I'll grab the inflation policy and we'll start to get rid of the inflation over time. So we almost have no inflation now. So I'm going to pass my fifth reform here. Not too bad. 1480. I'll go ahead and declare on Aragon, call in Burgundy. The war goal is a bit annoying, I have to admit, though. There's only one way to find out if our navy loses. And that's to try to send our army over. It looks like I'm a better. Yeah, I'm, I'm just better. That's all good. So that's going to be the war goal done. Suppose I'll call Bohemia into the war. No reason not to. Looking at what I want in the war, I'm just going to have to improve relations a little bit here. I'm going to have Savoy Anul with Aragon and give War Reps trade power. Just War Reps, actually. I don't mind. And then I can improve relations with him because he's kind of upset. So we're improving relations with all that we can right now. Let's get War Reps trade power from anyone secondary in the war. So then end this war, I'm just going to be taking these provinces here and these. I'm going to release all these people, of course. They're going to be members of the HRE. And that will allow us to add Granada to the HRE as well. We'll go ahead and release Sardinia, Valencia, Catalonia. I'm sure I'm butchering every name, always. It's fine, though. You guys like it. We got a bunch of authority there. Not a ton, but maybe like 10 authority. You just have to work at it. It's slow. I'll go ahead and take another loan so I can recruit another sack of guys. I think I might need two loans, actually. Just going to create a new template. We'll do the 1244. I feel like I might need more guys to fight England. I might not. I just want to play it safe. For tier 4, I'm going to go maintain balance of power for the extra diplomat. Just so I can improve relations with more people at the time because relations are very important for revoking. I'm going to go ahead and declare on England, call in Burgundy. Pretty easy win here. My navy might be able to beat his, but I have no idea. It looks possible. I should get an admiral, though. I accidentally lost the battle there. I wasn't paying attention. That'll happen. It's historically accurate, too. We'll demand unlawful territory for on hold. Couldn't turn on war taxes now that we have that age ability. You really got London back with a 14%? Come on. Oh, well, quick barrage assault. Oops, well, they're dead. They fought hard, though. We got the stack pipe. It was all a bait. Planned and calculated. Luckily, I have infinite manpower as the Emperor. I'll just continue to get Warb's trade power money from whoever our secondary targets in these wars. Go ahead and grab Abin 8 ahead of time. We got 60 innovativeness already, which is crazy. I'm going to end the war, and I'm going to make a questionable choice and release all these subjects. And it's going to put me into some sort of hell scenario where I have the most subjects in the game. My relation limit is going to be crazy, but we'll just see how it goes. They'll all join the HRE, of course. Well, too much authority that gives us, though. Up to 44, so quite a bit. We're currently 27 of 9. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a little much. I may need to get rid of some of these people now that they're in the HRE. Losing 7 Diplo a month, though, is rough. I'm going to grab the Diplo Rep Advisor. I'll take a loan for it. Important that we have Diplo Rep. All right, we got the Inheritance here. About time, 1490. I like how it says this may lead to a war with France. I am France. I, it won't lead to a war. I still need 80 Power Projection. Like, I'd love to do this mission here, but 80 power projection is rough. But I really want to pass this reform before this happens, so I don't waste the points. Crab mill 8 here. I'm hoping I can pass this reform. I might waste a bunch of authority if not, and that'd be sad. Unfortunately, I wasted a lot of authority here. I try to use some of that to make people happy, but most everyone really likes me is the thing. No one really dislikes me that much. Like, at least try to bestow Imperial Grace to some people. But I'm a little sad to waste all that authority. But I guess it's better to do something with the authority than completely waste it. So past my first centralization reform. Did end up wasting about 10 authority. So I'm going to have to declare humiliate on the Ottomans. This is going to be power projection. And that's enough power projection to pass my mission. Face the Empire. So we're going to pick the first option, which is the Holy Imperial Path. Gives me some diplomat up for a while. So I'm going to offer the Ottomans to cancel 13 subjects. These guys are already in the HRE, and I just kind of want to get rid of them so I could have diplo points again. I'm still way over my relation limit. But this is better. I want to complete this mission here, but I have to inherit Burgundy, and that's not exactly something I can just force to happen. I'm going to have to just not go to war for a bit because I need to get the horse event, and that's impossible when you're at war. So I suppose I just need to chill, turn off my maintenance, and wait for that. Look how the Duchess of Burgundy dies. That was very quick. I'm happy about that. Wait, this mission's still not done? Oh, right. Right. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I have to upgrade my great project to rank three, which is. A lot. So I'm going to make some questionable choices and try to upgrade my great project to rank 3. We'll sell titles. The mission tree says that I have to do it, so I'll just have to do it, right? I want to use a bit of manpower, though, so I can seize land as well here. Now, I don't know if I could even take enough loans to upgrade this great project to the max rank, but I can certainly try. I don't know if that'll be enough money, but what I can do is release some people that I want to release anyways, and it should let me adjust my loan cap. So let's release Flanders. And I'll also release Picard, or Picardi, whichever it is. Picardi, okay. And now I'm going to 
build cancel, and I should be able to take more loans now. Just a few more. We'll start upgrading this to rank two. We can use a bit of manpower. And then we'll start the upgrade to rank three. Yeah, I don't think we have the money or manpower to finish this off, though. So, well, I guess we do. We did manage to get this to rank three. But at what cost is the question? Go ahead and grab this mission here. So I'm not sure this is the way here because I'm going to go bankrupt. But you know what? I'm not going to go bankrupt yet. That's the important part, right? I could release Burgundy and he might join the HRE, but it might, he might be too big. So I'm thinking maybe I need to give these provinces away to somebody else. I'll just release Brabant and Holland. And now I should be able to release Burgundy, perhaps. It should be fine. 14 provinces. Hopefully he's not too big. He should be fine. I just need to make him loyal somehow. Just dev him up a little bit. He'll join right up. He would be thrilled to join, I'm sure, right? What the hell is this? I've never seen this event in my life. Okay. You want to join a crippled nation? You're in. I'm not bankrupt yet, but it's... You know, actually, I have a lot more room now. For some reason. I, I can take many, many more loans. So I shouldn't have any issues with bankruptcy. But I don't know why Burgundy's not joining the HRE. I don't want to do invite him, because then I don't get the authority. But for some reason, he's just being stubborn. Like, he wants to join. He just doesn't know it yet. Join the HRE right now. Oh, he did. So Burgundy's in the HRE now. We have two Xana Empires available here. We could go for Sardinia and Riga. Why didn't Sardinia join the HRE? I don't know why. He was my subject, but he just never joined the HRE, I guess. Oh, it's because he's in Italy, right? They can't. All right, well, I guess I'll just expand Empire on Riga. Go ahead and declare that war. I'm not going to turn on my army, though, because that... I don't, I don't think we can afford that. My boys got this. It's fine. I'm going to force Ferrari to turn Bologna. I'm going to throw my leader as a general until he'll die and get authority. So my leader died, which gives me some authority, which is just what we wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and expand Empire with Riga. Just a little bit of authority, nothing much. I mean, Scotland's a good... All right, so we got 50 authority, and we got a mission done here. This gives us 25% Imperial Growth Modifier. I'm just finding this out now, by the way. I didn't know this ahead of time. That's actually quite a bit, though. I'm going to want to hold this mission for a bit because it gives me authority, and I don't want to waste all that authority. I'm going to go ahead and curtail the Imperial State. We've got two more reforms to go. I'm going to go ahead and grab this mission here. Regain Italian territories. Gives us a bit of authority. we got 30 authority there. Not too bad. It's almost at this point not worth for me to go to war because I get authority so fast. Though, I could still do it. It's really either way. I'm going to go ahead and salt Scotland so I don't get a penalty for declaring on him. I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Scotland. So I'm just going to run up to the capital here. Barrage of salt is fine, sure. Hoping my allies will put in the work. I guess I could call on Bohemia to the war. We'll take nine here. Our innovativeness is impressively good for 1500. 70 innovativeness is pretty nuts. So I'm going to end the war with Scotland. It's going to be a flowingization. We'll go ahead and just release Scotland. Okay, so we should join the HRE. There we go. So I got about 10 authority. So the second to last reform before the revoke. The Pope will leave the HRE soon because of that. That's fine. Yep, Unholy Empire, normal stuff. So I no longer have the Diplo penalty I did before, so I'm actually able to generate Diplo points, which is nice. I could probably accept all these royal marriages. They just are going to make my improved relations better. I have to fend off bankruptcy for at least a few more months here. Although I'm not really worried about that, to be fair. I can have 115 loans, I only have 62. So my economy should bounce back once we revoke the privilege, I would say. So I'm just going to wait for my authority. I get 0.77 a month, even when the HR is not at peace, so it shouldn't be long. Although the Protestant Reformation just hit. But I don't think I'll have to care about the Protestant Reformation much because it's just too late. So we could revoke right now. So October 1508, obviously it wouldn't be good to revoke now. We'll probably just want to see. I imagine with this revoke, we're going to not get a lot of princes because there's a lot of big nations. But let's just see. Uh, certainly Austria and Bohemia won't be in the HRE. But we'll just kind of wait and see where it ends up. There's two nations left that won't take the revoke. And I imagine it's going to be Austria and Bohemia. Would be my guess. Dude, may maybe Austria would join. I'm thinking it's a solid maybe. I'm going to roll marriage him. I thought for sure that Austria would never join. Like, where's historical rivals? It would kind of be shocking if he did join, but now I'm kind of interested to see. But I'm thinking maybe we can actually get them in. We're starting to get negative malice from the Reformation, but obviously it's not going to be enough to stop it. Could actually almost get the Dipper up, and then we definitely would be good, probably. I would be surprised, though. If I get Austria, that'd be nuts. And I'm not even the right culture. And he doesn't trust me. Like maybe I need to curry favors. I can't influence him because I'm too poor. So I'm going to grab the Dipper up here. That'll be helpful. And we still are one away. I think Austria is going to be tough. Let's go ahead and throw Austria in Imperial Grace. We'll trade favors for trust. I don't think that'll be enough yet, but maybe. Oh, it is. Okay. So we can go ahead and full revoke here, including Austria, which is kind of nuts. 1513, not too bad, I would say. 
This is my first time trying this strategy too, so I would say things are not perfect. Okay, I was gonna ask if we could get out, get out of debt here, but without even diverting trade, we make tons of money. So we definitely can and would get out of debt, no worries. Obviously we have a lot of interest, but we haven't even diverted trade yet. And we're not even collecting from the English Channel and things like that. So definitely, I would say I was surprised overall with this run. I didn't think that they would be this good at revoking, to be honest. 1513s are really good to me. I, I expected like a 1540 plus, to be honest. That's going to do it for this run. But I will leave you with a little bit of the Vassal Swarm versus the Ottomans, just for fun. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Now for the final touch, the perfect peace deal. It looks beautiful.